Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign. So whether a Sun, Moon or Rising sign Capricorn, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they speak to you. With that said, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light. Peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So if you haven't seen it, your May 2021 Taroscope is up and at and uh, you'll be able to grab that on the link that's floating about somewhere above my head. Um, your key to the week this week is the Empress, right? So there is good news in some way, shape or form on the material plane, whether this is to do with your money, your finances, your home. Uh, very often the Empress can represent the environment that something takes place in, right? And uh, for your, um, uh, this would also represent your, your work as well, like your profession in some way, shape or form. It's the tangible stuff, right? So it can be something good or some good news is shaping up for you across the material plane. For your actions and options this week, you have the Eight of Cups. So this week, you are going to have to decide what you are ready to walk away from, what it is that you are ready to depart. For some of you, this could be the current job that you're in. For some of you, this could be the current home that you're in. For some of you, this could literally be you take it, sorry, that bloody itchy nose thing again, it drives me insane. <laughs> For, uh, for some of you as well, this could literally be you deciding that you are ready for a new era of something, right? And very often the Eight of Cups shows us where we have the courage to step forward into or for something new. Now, because you've got the Empress here as well, this is about you growing yourself. It's about this week, there might be an opportunity as well that comes through a, a woman or a female in your life it may be that that opportunity takes on a very, um, you know, uh, maybe even takes on a mind of its own. Maybe it just grows. Like there's some sort of harmonious connection that comes in this week. And it's because of a decision that you are making on a personal level, which I think is fantastic. For your communications and conversations, you've got the Nine of Swords. So this week, you could be having conversations and expressing your worries. Uh, definitely possible. It also looks like some of you are working late into the night on something. In fact, your Eight of Cups is very much a nighttime card as well, as is the Nine of Swords. So this week, do expect yourself to be a little bit of a night out. It looks like you are either working on something late into the night, uh, maybe you are doing, you know, uh, some sort of personal spiritual work that takes place, you know, in that regard. Um, you know, this could be deep prayer. It could be meditation. This could be a week where you are voicing your opinions or maybe you are looking at and conversing over the dark night of the soul. This is very possible this week. And the funny thing is, you know, when you say that, a lot of people go like, oh my gosh. Um, but this week, it's kind of like, it's not a burden to you. Like this week, you're able to look at those things or to talk about those things. And it's not a challenge. It's not an issue. In fact, it might even feel like an absolute relief. For those of you that work for somebody else, this is the week for you to speak up. I kind of feel like this is going to be crux point for some of you as well. So this will be where you kind of say, you know what, yes, I'm going to stay or no, actually, I'm going. Um, what I will say to you as well, there is going to be a challenge that comes up with communication this week. So this could literally be a decision that is made, but it might just as well be you kind of... Um, you know, uh, I don't want to say making a mountain out of a molehill, but it, the Nine of Swords can be that sort of melodramatic OTT kind of energy. So this week, um, and you know, Capricorns are known for saying what they mean, meaning what they say, and just kind of being, you know, very much dealing with the facts. This week, don't over embellish. Like, it's one of those things, if someone wants to keep you, they'll do what they have to to do so. If they don't, then they won't, quite frankly, all right? For your, um, those of you that work for yourselves, business owners, entrepreneurs, sorry, my nose is driving me mad. <laughs> for those of you that work for yourselves, business owners, etc. If you're, whatever you are working on, this looks like one mammoth project. It looks like something that is gonna take up a lot of your time. This week, I would say to you as well, if you're gonna burn the midnight oil, 
um, make sure you fit something in uh, during the day that is fun, all right? The Empress demands to be satiated in the material realm. Good food, good wine, uh, an afternoon nap, a luxurious bath, a massage, whatever it is, you have to put something in place this week to look after yourself if you're gonna be working this hard. When it comes to your, um, oh, come on brain, for your, uh, those of you that are retired or no longer working, um, I mean, look, it's the Nine of Swords, right? What you do with your time, if you're retired or you're not working, what you do with your time is completely up to you. I think this week, though, you might come into the understanding that maybe you're not using it as effectively as you would like. And one of the remedies for this would be to really look at what is actually bothering you, and more importantly, what is actually motivating you at the moment. Like, what is pushing you to get out of bed in the morning? What what is, um, you know, what is being highlighted to you in that regard? For your money and materials, you have the judgment card. I think there is a big change coming to the work sector for Capricorns. And, you know, one of the things that I have to say about your sign, even though it is a cardinal sign, you like structure, you like stability, you like um, the pragmatic approach to things, you know, knowing where your money's coming from, knowing things that are safe and secure, knowing that things are regular. All of those things are really important to a Capricornian energy, sun, moon or ascendant, um, you know, even a Venus sign as well. For uh, what I will say to you as well, remember the judgment card always brings big changes with it, right? Huge changes actually. And because this is in your money sector, it does suggest to me that something to do with the finances is changing. I do believe it's gonna be uh, an improvement, but I do feel like it's also gonna be an adjustment. So for those of you that are changing work, for those of you that are interviewing for jobs, etc., you are gonna be pushed, you are gonna be tested, you are gonna have your, um, your knowledge and understanding uh, really looked at in several different ways. This is gonna be um, a really powerful way of doing things very differently. So, you know, keep that in mind. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, um, this is gonna be a week where your energy levels need to be kept up and where the energy that you expend or utilize needs to come from, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? The energy that you expend and utilize, it has to be good energy, right? So this week, feed yourself well. If you're running on coffee and donuts, you're, you know, you're gonna be struggling to, to get along. You're gonna be struggling to get ahead. There's a lot of things that need to be looked after this week, you know, in terms of yourself. When it comes to your home and environment, I mean, you've got that eight of cups here. I think this could be a lot of you kind of saying, right, you know what, everything's changing. I'm changing the job, I'm changing the partner, I'm changing all of it. And so this week, you might even find, right, okay, you know what, I wanna redecorate the whole place. Like this is you saying, no, it's all got to go. Maybe that's what you're working really hard on. You know, it, it would suggest as well, because the Empress is your environment. So, you know, this could literally be the week where you say to yourself, right, okay, you know what, I need to, um, <laughs> yeah, I just need to paint everything. I need to change everything. I need to change the furniture. Like you're you're really just ready to rewrite everything. For your love and relations, you have the 10 of swords, right? So for a select few of you, uh, I do have to say this may be, right? And this is for the ones of you that you'll know if I'm talking to you. If your relationship has been rocky for a while, if it has had more problems than blessings, if it has had more, uh, you, you know, if it's already has cracks in the foundation, this may be a week where it comes to an end and quite dramatically so, right? You've got the judgment card here, final call, big change, big shift in some way, shape or form. You've got the nine of swords, you know, things being blown out of proportion, not good for communications either. And then you've got the 10 of swords. This is the end. It can also be a bust up, right? And because it comes up here in your love and relations, this could be a week for some of you where a relationship comes to an end. Now, if that's not the case and your relationship is stronger than that and it stood the test of time, this suggests that something to do with or within the relationship that hasn't previously been agreed on 
is going to, to cause some sort of a ruckus, right? This is something that you and your partner maybe don't see eye to eye on. And this week it is gonna be one of those moments where you can't explain it away, where, do you know what I mean? Like it's gonna to have, to, the elephant in the room will have to be addressed this week. Uh, for those of you that are single, um, look, I mean, there's two ways that this could play out for you. You could decide this week, you know what, I'm absolutely done with relationships. I don't wanna be with anybody. I just wanna focus on myself and my money and my home and da da da. And then boom, all of a sudden somebody shows up regardless. Um, <laughs> This would be a week when it comes to the love sector, I would say expect the unexpected. All right. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.